Okay, so this is the iFly Cinebe 75 HD. Well, this is about, I mean, I don't know how many years old is this, but hey, is it still worth it? And is it still good in 2023? Let's test it out. Okay, so some basic specs of this thing is that this basically runs on the Cadex Turtle, I believe. And it has a separate uh, recording chip that you basically put an SD card here. So it records basically HD video. And you get about, I think these motors are about 1000 kV, 10,000 kV actually. 1103 10,000 kV motors. And... Although it's rated for 3S, but I think 2S is still a better setup. 3S is a little bit too heavy, and you would definitely hear the motor struggling. It's going to be very loud, and you're going to feel it's very weird. And the, the flying experience of this thing is, if you treat it as complete a cine whoop that just flies for cinematic, then it's perfect. But if you want to do freestyle acro, then this is definitely not for you. Alright, so without further ado, let's just go take a look at the fly flitch. The current setup for this drone is running a 2S battery and my camera angle is about probably 5 degrees to 0 degrees and when you're flying this slow it's really enjoyable and you can see that the Cadex Turtle does a pretty decent job I would say Consider it's probably a 5 year old machine it still gives you a pretty decent footage and you don't have to attach a separate camera with such a small setup I do say it's still sort of worth it if you can get it in a, like a decent use price of course, you won't be able to buy this anymore, but hey, I really enjoy this. Okay, so my conclusion for this drone is I believe this is good for somebody that just wanted to put it in their pocket and just travel around and you don't have to carry additional camera and you're getting good enough footage to for personal use but not for professional, of course. But the only thing with this is that I don't think this is powerful enough that you... If you have any wind or whatsoever, then it's going to get caught and basically you're going nowhere. And another thing is that the prop guards are really, really weak. If you hit something like me, it's going to be easily broken because this is made by those kind of like very crisp plastic. It's not those kind of like ones that you can bend or what's whatsoever. It's you can see that there is no no tension no like flexibility in this thing so basically this wraps us up this video and if you like my content please help me subscribe and i'll see you next time okay bye, -bye.